with the whole of 2023 and the vast amount of superhero movies that came out, a lot of them were panned. There have been three in total that weren't just completely panned by critics and websites. I don't think that a lot of them deserved the slating that they got. I believe that they were put down just because people are getting bored of superhero movies. Honestly, I've watched all the the movies from 2023, all superhero movies that I could find anyway, and I don't believe that they are all terrible. The only one that I didn't enjoy was The Flash, clearly because there was far too much studio interference with that one. There was so much stupidity in it that didn't need to be there. And the fact that this movie was slated to come out in 2019 and they get pushed because of the studio and then it was supposed to come out in 2020 and then Covid happened and then it was supposed to come out in 2021 and it was pushed back again. Then it was supposed to be 2022 and it got pushed back and they wrote off a Batgirl because they needed to pump more money into this movie that had been pushed back since 2019. So it took them an extra five years to release this movie with reshoots after reshoots after reshoots and you could see it wasn't a rushed movie. They didn't want to push the movie, especially with all the controversy around Ezra Miller. They didn't want to show that they were supporting him, even though they supported him. That has been the only superhero movie that I didn't really enjoy. I enjoyed the scenes with Michael Keaton, but it wasn't enough to save the movie. And the whole thing about having George Clooney at the end, I don't hate him for coming back as Batman and Bruce Wayne. I hate the fact that they thought that that would have been funny, and it wasn't. It just, it didn't make any sense. It would have made sense if it was Michael Keaton. It would have even made sense if it was Val Kilmer. But to bring back George Clooney's Batman just didn't work. Uh, nobody wanted it, nobody was asking for it. He's took a pay, fair plays. But it didn't push the story forward. Thankfully, essentially that reset everything in DC, so anything afterwards isn't part of that. The other three movies that came out from DC, Aquaman 2, Shazam 2 and Blue Beetle, I thought that they were all okay, they were enjoyable movies, I mean, could they have been better? Definitely. Obviously Blue Beetle was the clear winner out of them all. That was a story that was told. There was a lot of comparisons to Iron Man and stuff like that and Spider-Man, but Blue Beetle is a character in himself. If you've not read the comics, you don't really understand the backstory. They tried as much as they could to get the backstory in, but with time constraints and this and that, they couldn't get the whole thing there. But overall, the rest of the DC movies were okay. Even Aquaman 2, with the severely reduced appearances of Amber Heard because they had to do reshoots to try and take her out because of the controversy that was around her. But they didn't take her out completely, which is something that they could have done. But again, they didn't want to, they'd put too much effort into building her character in the first one, so they had to keep her there. But overall, I don't know why 
they didn't do well in the box office because they were enjoyable movies. It's just clearly people are bored of superhero movies. And this is shown as well with Marvel. Ant-Man, the Marvels and Guardians of the Galaxy 3. The clear winner was Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I enjoyed that the most out of all three of them. But I don't see why the Marvels and Ant-Man got as slated as they did. They were good stories. I enjoyed the stories. I enjoyed the visuals, especially in Ant-Man Quantumania. And the story of the Marvels, I thought they just stole it from Spaceballs, which I found hilarious. But again, overall, they didn't perform as well as what they should be. And it's clearly a case of superhero fatigue. Nobody wants to go out their way to go and watch these movies in the cinema anymore because I think people are too busy comparing every superhero movie to Endgame and if you do that you're setting yourself up for a fail because not every movie is going to be Endgame and people need to go into the movie expecting to see that movie with that story it's not Endgame. We've had that. It was 2019. We've moved on. We need to enjoy what's out there. Now, the the clear winners of the superhero movies, though, was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem, and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. They were the clear winners out of any of the superhero movies especially the Spider-Man one the story for that was fantastic uh, the nods to the comics and stuff like that were fantastic and the twist at the end as well is going to be a fantastic movie for the sequel which sadly we won't get till next year I think it will be worth the wait. Um, it shows that they're not rushing the story. They're not pushing to get it put out. They're going to work on it and have a fantastic ending to the trilogy. Um, Turtles Mutant Mayhem, we know that there is a sequel coming, uh, whether that be next year or 2026. They have said that they're not going to rush a new story and we know that the Shredder is going to be a key villain in this one and that it is going to be a massive take for them to bring in Shredder. Not in the first one because a lot of people are like, oh, well, why isn't Shredder there? He's their big enemy. Is that because they're building them up? And so it is going to be, hopefully, a fantastic story. With that being said, the superhero genre of movies has declined. But 2023 was a massive year for superhero content because we had Gen V, which is a spin-off of The Boys. We had Invincible Season 2. We had Harley Quinn and Superman and Lois. We had Doom Patrol. We also had Loki Season 2 and What If Season 2 and these smashed it out of the park. They went above and beyond for superhero content. They have been like, the most watched shows of 2023. A lot of it has been the superhero content, especially with uh, Loki Season 2. I've watched all of the ones on this list and I can't wait for the rest of Invincible Season 2. But the clear winner for me was Koala Man. It is an insane 
Australian show and it is fantastic. It is hilarious. The, I, I don't want to go into it because I want people to go into it not knowing what to expect. You should look it up. Clearly, it's a show where they wanted to have a laugh and they did. It's fantastic. And I really hope there's a season two because the cast and the stories were fantastic. I don't care what anybody says, that is the greatest superhero TV show to come out of 2023. So on that note, I'll let you go and watch Koala Man and then come back to me and tell me how good you thought it was. Because if you don't like it, then just, just don't bother. I don't, I don't want to hear any negativity about it. Um, but until next time, see ya.